Right now, we're going to talk about the baseball stitch. Does this look familiar to you? I mean, if it were red and straight and on a leather ball. <laughs> so this is a great stitch for bringing together two sides, especially for repairing things. Let's say you have a stuffed animal that you want to repair. Uh, I've got my needle with my big old knot. I use big knots for demonstration purposes. I use big knots in really thick uh, fabrics, especially stuffed animals or something where it's going to be hidden. You know, use a knot appropriately sized for your fabric. The, the whole purpose of the knot is so that it secures your thread from, you know, not coming out. So I'm going to take my opening, I'm going to take my thread, and I'm going to put it, I'm going to start. I'm going to go up a little bit so that it's past the, op the end of the cut and I'm going to just come out and I'm going to hide my knot and I'm just literally starting like I start everything else. Come from the back towards the front. Oh, we even have some glitter here. Ooh, fancy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this a little bit because I'm right handed and it's easier to sew this, this particular stitch going this way for me. So I'm going to go in the cut and I'm going to come out about the same distance I did over here. You can take an air soluble or water soluble marker and draw lines parallel. For this, I'm not going to be bothered. So here's my first stitch. See that? Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go down in the cut and up and pull. And as I go, I am slowly pulling this hole, these cut edges together. So it's nice if you can sort of hold it in place instead of like letting it go open like that. Oops, sorry, it's a little out of focus there. We want to close this little mouth here. We're going to close it. Keep it nice and straight and flat. And then I'm going to just take my needle. I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to come out about the same side, same distance this way and this way from the previous stitch. And there we go. Now I'm going to try and do the same thing on the other side. And you know, move your move your fabric wherever you need to make it easier for your stitch. Oops, sorry. Earthquake with the camera. All right. So there's the beginnings of the baseball stitch. Remember, don't pull it too tight. Otherwise, it's going to look like uh, I don't know what it's going to look This looks going to look like a really bad surgery scar. Like really bad. I like to use this stitch on stuffed animals to make it look like they've had surgery or they've had their, you know, boo-boos repaired. Very decorative in that way. I could see this on like a little monster toy to make it look like Frankenstein creature all stitched up. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. You know, do whatever you need to do with the direction so that you're always going this way with your needle hand. I should say your dominant hand with the needle in it because that's just easier and it, it's faster. So I'm going to, I can just keep switching, keep switching if you want, or you can go this way with your hand, whatever, whatever it takes. Now, let's see, I'm just gonna, there's no real trick to make this one faster. I mean, you could just not care where the stitches are. That will make it faster. <laughs> but if you do care, take your time. Make sure that it's closing up nicely. See, there's no, there's no gap there unless I like really pulled it. But this is, this is a good, this is just a good stitch to have in your arsenal. And it's not as common um, you won't find it as often, but I, I don't know. I like it. And then make sure you're keeping track of your tail and letting it, there you go. You don't want it to get stuck in your stitches. All right. So keep going and then take that last stitch a little past the cut. And that is my, um, advice to you. I'm going to pause and do some speedy uh, sewing and come back and show you. Through the magic of video, I am at the end of my hole. So I'm going to 
take some more stitches here. See how the end is right here? I'm going to try and go in right at the end of it and pop out. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in that end. And there. Basketball. Basketball. Ha ha. Got my uh, balls mixed up. Baseball stitch. All done. Okay. 